the stage is set for one of the top offensive linemen in the country to come off the board. Aaron Dunn, a top 24-7 prospect from the state of Utah, is getting ready to reveal his college destination. He is down to five schools, took official visits to all five schools, the in-state programs, BYU and Utah, as well as the Big Ten contenders, USC, Oregon, and UCLA. And they're all fighting for a very athletic and projectable offensive tackle. He's all of 6'7", 290 pounds, really athletic, nimble with his feet. He can get out to the perimeter in run support as well and help you in that second level to open up running lanes. But the four-star from Spanish Fork will be making his money as a pass protector. He's got really good length, really good feet. And when he's able to lock in with this technique, he keeps pass rushers at a distance still needs to add strength still needs to continue to work on his mechanics but i think the potential is through the roof and obviously it's why these programs these five finalists are in hot pursuit of aaron dunn thank you blair now let's go out to the man of the hour aaron dunn a top 20 offensive tackle in the class of 2025 aaron thank you for including us in part of your special day i see three hats on the table so Tell us, what has this recruiting process been like for you? Uh, this recruiting process has been amazing. Um, everyone who has supported me for the past four years has been great. Every single coach that's reached out to me, who came and visited the school, came to practices, has really been a blessing. I see some important people next to you. Can you tell us who's joining you at the table today? It's my mom, Julie, my dad, Greg. Um, they've been amazing towards me through this whole process, You know, making sure I want to go where I want to go. Uh, and not being biased. <laughs> Great to hear it. Well, I'll give you the floor now. Please let us know where you'll be taking your talents for the next chapter of your playing career. Um, first of all, I want to thank everyone around me, my whole family, and my parents especially. Uh, I want to thank God as well for putting me in this, this, this place. Um, but that being said, for the next three, four years, I'll be taking my talents to the University of Utah. Breaking news, Aaron Dunn staying in his home state of Utah where he will play for the Utes and Kyle Whittingham as they start their Big 12 era. Aaron, what ultimately made you decide on the Utes? Uh, staying close to home was definitely important for me. Um, Coach Whittingham, Coach Harding, they really did a good job at recruiting me, making me feel part of their family. Uh, the players out there, I mean, it's really a special group of guys. I feel like I bonded with them really well, and I'm just – Super excited to get up there. For Utes fans who are watching who maybe haven't seen your tape yet before, what's your message to them? Uh, I'm going to give it everything I got. <laughs> Love to hear it. Well, Aaron, thanks so much for joining us. Many congratulations, and we'll be excited to follow you in this next chapter. Thank you, Chris. All right, so Utah adds a second offensive tackle to its 2025 class with Aaron Dunn. The Utes now jumping into the top 50 of the recruiting rankings with a 17th commit. Dunn also the second four-star prospect to join that class. The Utes adding some size on the line of scrimmage with Dunn standing at over six foot seven and 290 pounds. Let's bring in our national recruiting analyst, Greg Biggins, who has scouted Aaron Dunn. Greg, what are the Utes getting in this prospect? Yeah, first off, I have to show the youth some love with my, my – no, we had a chance to see Aaron live and, and up close back in June at the Under Armour Next Camp and, and really liked him a lot. Ironically, like Blair kind of mentioned, did a good job there. Um, he's 6'8", he's 290, um, but he's an athlete. And he was taking reps at tackle, which is his natural position, but also kind of slid inside and took some reps at guard and even at center. Uh, you don't see a lot of guys with that kind of length, and he's got a lot of length, 80-inch uh, wingspan, but just the way he can move around and love the positional versatility – I think next level, probably maybe a, a, a right tackle. But again, you know, he's got that wide base. He could play guard if needed. Uh, basketball background, which we love, that multi-sport athleticism really shows up. Basketball-wise, 17 points a game, six rebounds. So good all-around athlete with a ton of upside. Uh, needs to get bigger, stronger, uh, continue to work on quickness and feet. But 
Uh, looks like an NFL guy for me. I, I think he's going to be a multi-year starter for Utah, a huge pickup for them, and a guy, like I said, with a very high ceiling and a guy that can play on Sundays someday. There were a couple heavyweights in this recruiting battle, Oregon, USC, UCLA. What does it mean for Utah to keep this commitment in his home state? I mean, it's huge because you mentioned heavyweights and, and Oregon right now, I, I would say, you know, you can kind of mention them with Ohio State and Bama in terms of just how hard they are to beat in a head to head battle. Uh, USC also another school, traditional power. And those were the final three for Aaron. So for Utah uh, to be able to keep him in state is, is huge. I, I think Utah is very underrated as a, as a state. You know, we've been out there a lot over the last four or five years, and those top five or six players from Utah stack up well with any top five players from the West Coast, including California. So for Utah, again, it's kind of a cliche. You want to build that fence, right? Jerome Miles right now is the number one player in state. I think Utah is doing pretty well with him. So if Utah bringing in Aaron Dunn, if they can kind of match this class uh, with a, a Jerome Miles, who's a top uh, 32 player for us, an elite wide receiver, uh, Utah, I, I like their future. I love what they're going. Already, you know, an annual 10-win program. But I think they're a playoff team if they continue to recruit the way they are right now. All right, Utah adding a 17th commit to the class with Aaron Dunn and Greg Biggins with the latest. Thank you, Greg. Also, appreciate the Utah swag there. For more from Greg and the rest of our great team here at 24-7 Sports, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on those notifications so you never miss a show. Not only are we Commitment HQ, we have analysis, breaking news, Everything you need to get ready for this college football season.